inside of Light Shark, not only are we able to select palettes that the console has already created, but we can actually create our own as well. And this can be really useful in a lot of situations, whether you're defining a custom color that's not in the built-in color palette, or perhaps you want to go ahead and get a shortcut on your programming by defining intensity and position palettes. These are really helpful. Whatever your need, defining your own custom palettes inside of Lightshark is as simple as recording a cue. It really is this easy. Let me show you how it works. The first thing I'm going to do is select some fixtures and press find so I can find them on my screen. We see them come right up in the visualizer. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make a position palette. So I'm going to go over here to position and adjust my tilt and pan. Let's go ahead and tilt them out towards this backdrop. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm actually going to use the fan tool in this example. The fan tool is great because it allows you to quickly and easily create an offset on your parameters. So I'm going to dial in some fan on pan, focus my lights into a nice wide kind of fanning look. This creates kind of an interesting look. And then we're going to go ahead and press record. Now we'll go to palettes and we see that we've got position already selected. And so we're just going to press the box that we want to record to just like recording a group or a queue. Perfect. Now the palette has been recorded. I'm going to do a long press and now I'm able to rename my palette. I'm going to name this palette backdrop. You can name your palette whatever you'd like. Click OK or press Enter to name your palette. And now I'm going to press Clear. Let's recall that palette. So to recall the palette, again, we don't see anything right away. And once we select our group that this palette contains, we see the palette. Now I can press Find and press the backdrop palette and the fixtures move instantly to that palette. We can create palettes for all the other parameters inside the console too, whether it's intensity, position, beam, advanced, gobo, or color. Let's create a color palette. Just going to select my fixtures again, press find, go to color. Now I'm going to make a custom color. So I'm just going to make, well, this is kind of a nice green blue. So go over here to our palettes once again, record, press the button, and our palette is now recorded. We can also recall multiple palettes at the same time for different parameters. For example, if I press clear, then reselect my fixtures and find them, I can assign them to this light green palette, and then also go to my position palettes and select the backdrop palette. Now the fixtures utilize both the color palette that I selected and the position palette. We can now record this to a playback to make a new cue. Again, I can press record and assign it to a playback by pressing that plus sign on the playback tile. If I press clear, I can then bring this up to full and watch as my cue is brought in. Palettes are a really great building block for cues, and I highly recommend that you use them in every show you create. They can really speed things up for you, saving you a lot of time in your programming.